Welcome back to Reviewed, my name's Hunter, and today our friends over at Xreal kind of sent us these products. They sent it for another channel, but we're still going to review it here on Reviewed, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so starting with the pros, and then we're gonna get into some use cases, and then we'll get into some cons with the Xreal AR glasses. These are the Air 2s. Uh, just the standard Air 2s, and they're about $359 on their website. You can get them a little bit cheaper used if you'd like. We'll have a link down in the description as well. Uh, use that if these interest you, or if you fit into uh, some of these use cases that these are for, that would really help us out. All right, so starting with the pros, I wanted to start with um, the packaging is really unique. I really like this kind of oval sphere pill shape that they come in. Um, it's pretty small, it's good. You can toss it into a backpack. Um, the case itself is built pretty well. Putting that off to the side. The glasses here as well. The glasses here are also built uh, pretty okay. There are definitely a lot of plastic going on, which um, for something you're gonna be wearing a lot, isn't necessarily a bad thing because they aren't very heavy. We've got a couple other VR products, AR products, and these are definitely some of the lightest out of those that we have. Um, it does have these replaceable uh, nose tips that allow you to change the size of them in case um, this one doesn't specifically fit. It is a little hard to get out. Um, as you can see here, it feels like it's gonna break when you get it out, but it doesn't break. So if you get these and wanna replace it, just be aware of that. It has this sunshade cover. Um, so they work with this like electrochromatic uh, color shifting as it is, but if you want it to be just not see-through at all, um, then all you gotta do is put this on and then it blocks out all the light, which is nice. Which we'll get into some of that here in a little bit. Another impressive thing about it was actually the speakers built in. You can kind of see it right here. There are two speakers that are downward firing at your ears. And it was actually very impressive how good they sounded. Um, I appreciated that they put some effort into how those sound, especially since um, one of the main use cases that I'm gonna get into for this is gaming uh, or media consumption of some sort. Like I said earlier, these are really lightweight, which makes them comfortable to wear when you are not tugging at it. So one of the, the cons we're gonna get into is you actually have to have a cord plugged in for this to run at all. They aren't standalone, uh, a, they're not a standalone device in any way. And so sometimes the cord, if it's pulling against, is kind of uncomfortable, but the glasses themselves, when you're just wearing them, are pretty comfortable, especially with them being so lightweight. Another thing which is gonna be really hard to capture um, in a camera, it's something you just have to experience, is the actual image quality of the screen, um, which they say is a little bit over 100 inches and like six feet of uh, away from you. It's really, really sharp. It's much sharper than um, what I'm used to, which is the Oculus Quest 3. Uh, that has a pretty sharp screen, but this is even sharper. Um, that's something that's really, really impressive, especially for the size. Like, you can kind of see here, this is not, it's not very big, and the Quest 3 is very large, very clearly a headset. This you could maybe at a distance get away with um, as just being a normal pair of sunglasses and yet they still packed in so much tech into this device itself. Jumping into some use cases, um, we're gonna talk about here is just the fact that you can watch movies in this is really nice. All you have to do is plug it into either your phone, a computer, uh, some sort of gaming console, and it just works just like as soon as you plug it in. So you just plug it in via USB-C here, plug it into your device, and then immediately it just pops on and immediately it just works. So I put it on, now I can see my phone, which is, like they say, it looks pretty large. One problem I've been having with these is um, the bottom is kind of hard to see and when the light does come through, there's a glare at the bottom so that's not the best to look at, but if I put these on top, it definitely is much better. All I have to do is open up YouTube and all of a sudden, now, now straight away I'm watching a video on a huge screen that does feel much bigger than if I were to just look at my phone. Especially if I take off the sun, like the block, the light blockers, then all of a sudden it's much, much further away. 
and it feels like I'm looking at a pretty large screen. Again, the issue I'm having is it's hard to see some of the, uh, the corners of the screen. And when the light does come through, there are some glares. But once you get past that, it is very sharp, very colorful. It's a good, it looks just as good as if I was to look at my phone or a nice TV. Another use case I could see with this is say you're working and you just want to have a bigger screen in front of you while you're working. So you're working and you just want a larger screen than what you're working on. Say you're editing video, working on a Word document, something like that. It just works just like that. Again, all I did was plug it in and now I'm in, now I can see the screen. It looks pretty large. I need the light to go away. If I want to just zone in, just pop those back on. And now I'm zoned into work. I can't really see too much of my surrounding, but the nice thing is, is I can still see like my peripheral. So if someone were to walk up to me, I'd be able to know that they were there. I could real quick, take them off, talk to them. They go and then I just put them right back on. So that's so that's something that's really nice. And especially with it being so sharp, this is great for uh, working on some multitasking, uh, whatever it might be with that. And then another use case that this is something I actually use myself from time to time is with my Steam Deck. So I really like my Steam Deck, but sometimes the screen is not the biggest, right? So it's a pretty small screen, it's eight inches. Say I wanted to play on something much, much bigger. All I'd have to do, again, you can probably guess this time, is plug it right in. And immediately the screen is now in front of me. It feels huge. I'm able to play any game that I want on my Steam Deck, now on a big screen, without it taking a hit to performance. So it's just really cool. The, the quality is actually better in these glasses than it is on my Steam Deck itself. Another thing that I should mention is that the screen gets really, really bright. I really appreciate that. There's a couple different buttons on here that just helps you change the brightness. And this button right here actually changes the electrochromatic. Let's see if we can get that. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it changes how bright or dark the, changes how bright, yeah, yeah, okay. So you should be able to see that on the camera. Boom. I can see straight through, it's a little darker, and now it's super dark. It's almost as if I am wearing the light blocker itself. Another thing I could see this being useful for is, since you can see through the device, um, since these are pass-through, is you could have, say, uh, maps open, and while you're walking somewhere, you just want to be able to know where you're headed, and be able to just have a floating map in the corner. So that works pretty well. Again, I'm gonna to try to capture all of this on my B-roll camera. Um, so hopefully this will make more sense once you're able to see through that perspective. But right now I have the maps up over here and I can still see my surroundings pretty well, especially if I was outside, like looking at this light, no problem seeing the maps right there, still getting notifications, but still being able to see all of my surroundings and still being able to know exactly where I am on this map. So that could be another use case. Now, getting into some of the negatives of this device. Some negatives with this device is, like I was kind of talking about earlier, is the edges are kind of blurry. There is um, some light like glaring onto the actual uh, image. Sometimes that gets really annoying. Other times it's kind of, I don't know, you don't really notice it if you're really like getting immersed into something. But once you do notice it's there, it's kind of hard to avoid um, it's not a screen that you can reposition so like in the quest uh, there's like an interface and you can you can make the screen further and closer to you in these it's like a fixed position and where it's at is where it's at if you want it to be closer or further away you can't really change that um, it's not like locked to a specific place so if you look around the screen actually follows you too rather than like being pinned in an actual space which coming from the Quest again is something that uh, I was hoping these would have. I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but this cord when it's being pulled against your ear can certainly be uncomfortable if you're not careful with it. Um, I do wish there was a way to not have to have it plugged into something for it to be cut on to have power source um, to actually run itself. But that is something that I understand they were trying to 
cut some weight out of it, cut some price, and to achieve what they wanted, they made some sacrifices there. And that also brings me into the last part where you have to be tethered into a device, whatever it is. This isn't like a standalone product. And for $350, you could buy a Quest 3, which is a standalone product, but you can also have your computer beamed to it or your Quest or, or your Steam Deck or whatever it might be. All of that can still come to the Quest 3 and it's got pass through, which honestly isn't that bad. And so it's kind of hard to justify purchasing one of these unless this like specific use case of watching TV with your surroundings and something so small is something you're looking for, something that you could like maybe go to a coffee shop, put on and not look like you've got a big just computer strapped to your face, something a little bit more incognito. If you are looking for something like that, then this is certainly the product for you. Um, again, it's not too, too expensive, um, especially for how sharp the screen is. Um, the limited functionality I think can be overcome with whatever applications you're using, like if you're using your computer at a coffee shop like I was mentioning earlier, that's a really good use case. Um, you're watching a YouTube video in your car, you wanna play your, your Steam Deck or your ROG Ally or whatever console, but you want to have a bigger screen on it that's not like a TV necessarily. Say you're in, um, on a road trip or something and you're in the back seat or the passenger seat and you're just playing. This would be perfect for that kind of thing. So thank you guys for watching. If this is a product that interests you, please use the link down below. Um, that will definitely help us out. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our review channel. We're really excited to get more gold products like this. Watch this video. I think you're going to really enjoy it and we will see you guys next time.